Hey, brothers and sisters, the Reverend. We're here with a little uh, addendum to the uh, PreSonus uh, Studio Live review. We uh, looked at the software that comes with it. There's a couple of things about connecting to the board that you need to be aware of. Um, uh, first off, it's FireWire, but keep in mind that there are two flavors of FireWire. This is FireWire 400, which was kind of the quote-unquote original FireWire. And that's what the PreSonus takes. Now, if you've got a fairly recent computer, especially on the Mac side, um, and this is a uh, probably a two-year-old MacBook Pro, it does not have the same connection. That is FireWire 800. On some of the MacBooks, MacBook Pros, up until about a year ago, maybe two years ago, it had both FireWire 400 and FireWire 800. That is no longer the case. So you need to make sure that you either have an adapter to go from uh, FireWire 400 to 800, or what I've done is I've just bought a cable that has um, a 400 connector on one end and a 800 on the other end. Okay, so now let's check. When, when we um, hooked this thing up, had a little bit of a problem getting to talk, getting the two things to talk to each other, and it ended up being something really minor. And uh, PreSonus was really helpful in getting us on track. Okay, so once again, we're here in the uh, in the master control section. Um, you can page up and page down here. This is your effects uh, window. Um, and I'll say, I'm sorry. We go. We want to go to system. And the page down through system, the second one is where you assign your auxes to be pre or post. And page three, this is all of your uh, all of your uh, system information for connecting to something else. It tells you where your SPDIF is coming from, what your sampling rate is. You'll notice right now that it says sampling rate is 48 kilohertz. And status down there, it says no driver unlinked. And the FireWire link ID actually says two. Okay, so now let's run over to the computer. And we're going to open Universal Control here. This could take a second or not. It's opening up. Give it a minute. We may just make a little cut here and speed up the sequences like they do on those iPad commercials. That stuff doesn't really load as fast as you think it does. <laughs> okay, so nothing's coming up. And um, from previous experience, I can tell you that if we were to wait here for a while, we may get a, uh, a window that, uh, but we can't really do anything. All you can really do, you go up there to the universal control menu, you'll see that your services are uh, pretty limited. You can uh, basically quit it, and that's about it. So that's what we're going to do right now. Now let's run back to the board, and we're going to go back to our section here. And now we are going to change the FireWire ID. Oops, grabbed the wrong thing there. Um, uh, there we go, FireWire ID, link ID. And we're going to change it to zero. Now, notice how the sampling rate changed to FireWire and the status changed to driver on unlinked. Now let's go back to the computer real quick and open up universal control again and give it a second to open up and now we have communication so bottom line is that has to be set at firewire ID 0 um, you won't find that in the manual like I said PreSonus was very very helpful about uh, getting that together for us but if uh, your unit got shipped with uh, the FireWire ID in any position other than zero, they will never, ever, ever talk to each other, the, the, con the console and the computer. So uh, there's a little trick, save you a little extra time. A, make sure you got the right cable, which I didn't the first time I took it out, because <laughs> uh, I didn't look, pilot error. And uh, second, make sure that your FireWire ID is set to zero in order for the two devices to talk, okay? So there you go, thanks a lot everybody, bye.